you will learn the basics of flash loans and how you can borrow more than 1 million US dollars without any collateral. I would like to thank Aave for sponsoring this video. They are the biggest flash loan provider, but more about them later on. So what are flash loans? Well, flash loans are special uncollateralized loans that allow the borrowing of an asset as long as the borrowed amount and the fee is returned before the end of the transaction. There's no real world analogy to flash loans. It's a completely new concept reserved to the DeFi space. And that's why I'm so bullish on the DeFi space. So let me explain what a flash loan is in simpler terms. So with a normal loan, a borrower can actually take out some money, an asset, a property, and then he will have to pay that back in the future, including the interest. However, in order to do that, he has to provide a form of security to prove that he can actually pay it back in the future. Otherwise, he's not going to get a loan from anyone. Flash loans, on the other hand, do not need to be collateralized. You don't even have to prove who you are in order to get this massive amounts of money to do a lot of different things. As long as the borrowed amount and the fee is paid back in the same transaction, you can borrow as much as you want. For a flash loan to work, it has to follow a specific blueprint. You're going to need to have a function that asks for a loan from Aave a function that executes the operation with the lent funds, for example, an arbitrage trade. And then at the end of this transaction, a function to give back the lent amount plus the fee at the moment at 0.09%. And if this does not happen, this last part paying back the amount, then the transaction will fail. And this is possible thanks to the atomicity of transactions on the Ethereum blockchain, meaning that something has to happen instantaneously. And if this doesn't happen, then the transaction has failed. So flash loans sound too good to be true. What's the caveat and what are they actually used for? Now, the caveat is they're not that easy to implement for normal users. You should be a developer. You should understand the programming languages to actually um, execute flash loans successfully, especially super lucrative flash loans. Those are really co complicated. Furthermore, when you send this flash loan, this transaction, you're going to have to pay a gas fee. So this gas fee, you're always going to have to pay even if the transaction fails. So that's a cost you have to carry. And at the moment, um, gas fees are super expensive on the Ethereum blockchain. What are flash loans actually used for? Here's an example, self-hedging or reckless traders. So you can actually create some debt positions on platforms such as Compound or Aave, where you actually lock up some um, collateral and you borrow on that collateral to increase your position. In other words, you're actually going long on a certain asset. Now, the problem is if the price goes another way, then you can be liquidated. So in self-hedging, a borrower can actually decide to hedge the risk by building a, a flash loan script that helps them manage their uh, collateralized debt position. The way this works, they would borrow some DAI from Aave, pay back a part of the debt, withdraw some ETH, convert it to DAI with a one inch exchange, Uniswap or another decentralized exchange and pay back Aave. Now the great thing with a flash loan, all of this can be done in a single transaction. Without the concept of flash loans, uh, a person would have to do this manually and every single step would be a separate transaction. You can also use it for self-liquidation. It goes into the same concept of collateralized borrowing where should the price go in the other direction, meaning that your position gets liquidated, it's better to self-liquidate than having someone else liquidate you. Now you might be wondering why? Well, that's because of the penalty fee that you would have to pay. Now, if you liquidate yourself with a flash loan on a platform such as Compound or Aave, because the price of, for example, ETH plummeted and your position would be liquidated in a few minutes or hours and you decide to close it yourself, 
then you would only have to pay the 0.09% flash loan fee instead of the crazy 15% liquidation penalty. This is definitely a very good use case since 15% is a, a pretty big chunk of money if you've got a massive collateralized debt position. Then you've got arbitrage opportunities. Now those are definitely the most lucrative ways to use flash loans, but it's also one of the hardest ways. There's, there's one popular group called the Flash Boys. They actually made the first arbitrage trade. And basically what arbitrage trades means is you buy a token in a liquidity pool for a cheaper price, and then you sell that token on another liquidity pool or another decentralized exchange for a much more expensive price. Now, the difference might be only a few percentage, but if you actually buy millions of dollars worth of tokens on one liquidity pool and sell it on another, then the amount of profit can be in the tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and even more. Now, even though arbitrage opportunities are super lucrative on Ethereum blockchain, they're very, very hard to do. And that's because of front runner bots. And front runner bots will basically place their orders in front of yours by increasing the gas fee. And this is really, really bad for normal traders. So if you want to actually execute a profitable arbitrage opportunity, you're going to have to have a very sophisticated bot in order to actually be a lot faster than those front runner bots. Another awesome way to use flash loans are collateral swaps. Basically, you can swap the collateral to keep a trading position open and add a passive long by holding another asset as collateral. So a way that you can do that is borrow ETH on Aave without collateral, swap for BAT, basic attention token, deposit BAT as collateral on MakerDAO, withdraw ETH collateral from MakerDAO, and then pay back the ETH loan. So thanks to Hayden Adams for posting that and explaining the process. Then you've got debt refinancing, interest rate swapping, which is incredibly useful, especially for higher amounts of funds because of the gas fees. So flash loans can be used to move your collateral from one liquidity provider to another. So for example, you could move it from Aave to Compound if Compound has higher interest rates for a certain token. So you can borrow the asset with a flash loan from the Aave liquidity. You can pay back the debt on Compound, withdraw the collateral from Compound, deposit collateral on, for example, DYDX, Mint debt on DYDX and return the liquidity to Aave. So these do sound like complicated use cases, but in simple words, you're basically taking your debt from one platform and then moving it to another platform. If you want to see flash loans in action, you can actually go to avewatch.now.sh slash liquidations and here you can actually click on one of these links, open up in a new tab, and you can actually see a flash loan that has just occurred. You can actually look through the transaction to better understand how the flash loan actually works. And this is, this is pretty awesome because you're going to have a lot of tokens transferred from one decentralized exchange to another. And it's, it's super interesting to actually look at how all of this happens in a single transaction. Before we continue and start talking about how you as a beginner can actually start creating your own flash loans. Let me talk to you about Aave. Aave is a fantastic platform that lets you earn super high interest rates. The money in your banks or under your mattress loses in value every year. That's why you need to meet Aave. Aave is like your bank in the DeFi space where you can earn high interest rates by lending your crypto in a permissionless savings account. You can also use the deposited funds as collateral to buy some more ETH and also increase your exposure. With an Ethereum wallet and just a few clicks, you can start earning high interest rates. You can look at the tutorial I made about Aave about a week ago. So try out the Aave platform today by clicking on the link in the description and start making your money work for you. It's super easy to actually start building your own uh, flash loan combos with FuruCombo.app. As a fair warning, this Fudu Combo platform is beta software, has not been audited. And with everything in DeFi space, everything that's unaudited as well as audited uh, is super risky. So just keep that in mind. But it's great to actually start understanding the concepts be behind flash loans 
And yeah, knowledge is money. I think this is a super important thing to keep in mind. The more you know, the more money you can make in the future. All right, so you can log in with one of your Ethereum wallets. I've got my wallet connect wallet already connected and it's really, really easy to use. Let's first look at the explore tab where you can actually look at some combos Combos, combinations of smart contracts with flash loans is a, a term um, coined by the Fudo Combo team. And basically those are different strategies that you can use to perform multiple transactions at the same time, very often using flash loans from Aave or DYDX. So here you can look at many different ones. You can, for example, swap Eve to die, deposit to Aave, move collateralized debt position to Aave, close maker vault, then deposit the remaining collateral to Aave. You can actually buy BUSD, deposit to curve BUSD pool, then deposit curve BUSD to urine. There's a lot of different combos that have already been created that you can use. Not all made to actually make a profit, but most of them are there to actually make your life a lot easier and preventing you from creating like hundreds of, <laughs> of transactions and putting it in a single one. You'll still probably be paying quite a lot in gas fees since executing several um, transactions with a flash loan is definitely pretty expensive, but you'll still be saving time. Now to create your own combo, it's, it's pretty easy. You just click here on combo. You click on the little box on the plus item and you can actually search for different elements to add into your combo. So the first thing that you would normally add if you want to create a flash loan combo is you click on flash loan and then you can actually deter say how much you would like to borrow in ETH or maybe USDC. There are a few tokens that are actually available, but let, let's keep ETH and you say you'd like to borrow 1000 ETH. That's no problem at all. You click on set and then you've got it. As you can see, it created the second block of this first block because with a flash loan, you're going to have to pay it back. And as you can see here, you've got this um, dot nine that or dot nine ETH that you will have to pay back with the profits from your flash loan in order to pay back the initial amount that you borrowed. Let's select a block to actually buy a token from a liquidity pool on a decentralized exchange. Let's take Uniswap version two. Unfortunately, it just places the block underneath the flash loan, so we're going to have to drag it up above the repayment of the flash loan. So here we're going to select a token. Let's maybe select bat as an example and we just wait a little bit until it gets to estimate and then you can click on set. If you don't click on set, it would just remove this um, block. Click on set and then you will have to drag this between the beginning and ending of the flash loan between these two blocks. And then what you're going to do is click again on edit select the max amount. So here it's 1000 ETH since we're borrowing 1000 ETH. Preview output, this is the amount of BAT that we get. Click on set and then here it's fantastic. Now let's select another liquidity pool. It can be on the same decentralized exchange, but it might be better to use another decentralized exchange if the BAT token has a better price there. Let's create a new block where we're gonna sell this bat at a much higher price. Now, probably with this example, it's not gonna be at a higher price, but I'm just showing you how you can actually create your combo. So click on the plus and then select another decentralized exchange. For example, one inch die exchange, click on swap token. And here what we wanna do is click on the invert tokens and we're gonna be actually selling bat for ETH. Here you can say 10, you wait until the estimate has been made, click on set, and you're gonna to have to drag this before the repayment block for the flash loan. And here you click on edit, and then you're gonna actually um, sell the maximum amount, so this amount here. Unfortunately, it doesn't always allow you to set the max amount that you can sell. I'm just gonna copy and paste that in here. 
All right, so we created this block where we exchange BAT for ETH. However, this in this case, it's not going to work because the liquidity on one inch dot exchange for the BAT ETH pool is super, super low. So this wouldn't be a, a profitable uh, transaction at all. And it also wouldn't go through since I wouldn't be able to pay the initial flash loan. But hopefully this gave you a bit of an idea on how to create combos. Like I mentioned before, arbitrage combos are extremely difficult to do because you're going to have front runner bots actually putting their transactions in front of yours, making it nearly impossible to execute arbitrage trades unless you get super, super lucky and you set a super high gas fee. But then you've got, the, of course, the risk that you're going to have to pay this gas fee anyway, even if the transaction doesn't go through. That was it for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. Hit the like button, super appreciate that. And without further ado, I wish you a fantastic weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.